the conclusion of our research is that happiness takes work. Now, um, when, when I talk to the media, they often ask me questions like, um, just recently I was talking to a women's magazine, and they said, can you give me some, some quick and easy happiness strategies? Um, and of course, they, they always have these kind of little um, articles like 10 quick and easy happiness strategies. Um, and, uh, and, you know, and, and what I find is that people want to have, want to get like that kind of quick fix, magical solution. That's why the titles of a lot of the self-help books are happiness is easier than you think. Um, but what I'm finding, my colleagues are finding is that happiness is, is not easy. I mean, when you think about anything worthwhile to attain in life, whether it's to lose weight or to advance in your career, um, to learn a new skill takes a lot of effort and work and commitment, you know, maybe everyday kind of effort. And I think happiness, our emotional lives, uh, is not an exception. It's not just something that, like, you, you know, you, you either have it or you don't, or you sort of learn it. And it's like, it's a little bit like dieting. I actually often make a, an analogy between um, dieting and getting happier, um, because it's not like you can go on a diet for two weeks and then you're done, you know, and then you're done for the rest of your life. You don't have to worry about it. No, I mean, you pretty much have to diet. Uh, if your set point for weight is higher than you like every day for the rest of your life. And I think happiness is no exception. Now, the good news is a lot of the activities that I think foster happiness, well-being, um, can become habitual over time. And so once they become habitual, the effort decreases. <laughs>